Welcome to today's tutorial. These tutorials are aimed at helping people who are just starting out with Photoshop. So I try to make them as user friendly as possible. The videos are designed for the beginner. Please remember you can download the start image for this tutorial in the description box down below. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at putting circles into the landscape. This idea has been inspired by the artist MC Isha, who, as you can see here, has used circles in much of his drawings, as well as the Russian artist Kandinsky, who used circles quite a lot in his artwork. So let's get started. So this is kind of what we're going to be producing today. Um, and what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all the layers. So I'm starting at the same position as you are. So first step, go ahead, download this video from the description box and then put it into Photoshop. So I've got this image in Photoshop. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to produce a shape that I'm going to base all my work off. So in order to do that, I need to create a new layer. So down here in the bottom right hand corner, you just hit the plus icon and you create a new layer. I'm going to double click the layer and call it shape. So once I've created my shape layer, I'm going to now draw my circle. So I come up here to the top left in my toolbar, there is the elliptical marquee tool. If you don't see the circle, you right click and it will probably be on the triangle. So you just go ahead and click your elliptical marquee tool. Now, if I were just to click and draw a shape out, it would uh, create an oblong like this and I wouldn't know if it was perfectly uh, circular. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go Command and D to, to get rid of that. In order to make something a perfect circle, what I need to do is I need to hold down the Shift key. So I go ahead, hold down the Shift key. Then I go ahead and draw out my circle and just make a really big circle in the scene as big as I can like that. I'm happy with that and now I can let go with my mouse and it has created a perfect circle for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the circle with some color. So in order to do that, I come over to my paint bucket tool and I click the paint bucket tool. I'm going to right click it to show you it may be on the gradient tool, but you want to ensure that you click the paint bucket tool. And then we can see that our foreground color here is white and I'm going to go ahead and click in there and ensure that my circle is filled in. You'll notice on the shape layer, it has now been filled in with a circle here and the white circle is not on the background layer. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to modify my selection. Remember the selection are these marching ants going all the way around the edge. In order to do that, I'm going to come up to my selection tool along the top and I'm going to click modify my selection and I'm going to select contract. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a number of pixels in which to contract this selection. Now this will vary from image to image, but in this image, 100 pixels is a nice size. You may have to experiment with the amount of pixels on different images. I'm going to choose 100 and hit OK. Now what this has done is it has contracted the selection from the edge all the way to the inside here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this shape as well. Now at the moment my foreground color is white. I don't want to fill it with white again. I want to flick this over. You can click this icon here or press X on the keyboard and that will now make the foreground color black. I need to ensure that I've got my paint bucket and I come in here and I paint into my paint bucket. Now I'm done with my selection so I need to deselect by going Command and D and that will get rid of my selection around the edge. So now what I want to do is, as always, we're going to make changes to our background layer. So what I want to do is I want to duplicate that layer. At the moment, my active layer is the shape layer because it's highlighted gray. If I click down into my background layer, it's now highlighted gray. This is my active layer. I'm going to go Command and J, and that has the effect of duplicating the background. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my shape layer and I'm going to make a selection which is only this white circle around the edge. And in order to do that, I come over here to my magic wand tool. If you don't see the magic wand tool, it could have been on the object select tool. You want to go ahead and click magic wand tool. Then I simply just click in this area and the selection has selected just the white area. 
Now, I don't need my shape anymore, so I'm going to click the eyeball to hide it. And I'm going to now come down to my background copy layer. I'm going to click this, so this is now the active layer. And I'm going to create a layer mask by clicking this over here. Now, we can see that a layer mask has been created on my image, but the image doesn't look any different at all. Now, the reason for this is if I, if I hide the background layer, we can see that this is what this layer is. And when we bring in the background layer, it's perfectly uh, hidden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a change. So on this layer, I'm going to transform or change this layer by going Command and T. And this gives me the transform controls. Now, if I come just outside of the image, it'll give me the uh, turning arrow and I'm just going to rotate this and what this does is this has an effect of ch changing our image quite drastically. I'm happy with that change so I'm going to hit the tick or press enter to apply my transform. Now I want to make this look a little bit better. Now in order to do that I need to use layer styles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my layer and double click and this gives me the options of different layer styles. Now at the moment you can see there's no ticks on any of these boxes so none of the layer styles are applied but you could use a good one would, would normally be drop shadow. I'm not going to choose drop shadow. Another good option for something like this would be stroke which means a line around the outside. You could tick that to apply the stroke. You can see there's a tiny little white border around the edge. I don't want to choose stroke. I'm going to choose bevel and emboss and put the tick along there and what bevel and emboss does is it slightly lifts it off the page and makes it look a little bit more 3D. I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit OK and just so that you know the layer style effects that we have produced are now down here and you can eyeball them on or off to see if you prefer them or not. I'm going to stop there. I'm happy with that. That is a circle in the landscape inspired by the artists that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. If you found this video useful please could you give it a thumbs up. It really does help. Additionally you can find other videos that will help you to become really good at Photoshop in the playlist provided. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.